So you've just bought the perfect people hauler for the family. Of course, you've just purchased a Chrysler Pacifica minivan or van, they may call it today. The thing that you must do is, for protection safety and also for convenience, is plug this to this. So what we're going to concentrate on, and I'm just going to continue giving you a view of the vehicle, but what we're going to concentrate on in this vid is showing you how to pair your Chrysler Pacifica with your home garage. Now, first things first, your vehicle must be parked in front of the garage, as you can see here. It doesn't have to be straight, doesn't have to be front or backwards, just parking in front of the garage, nose first. Once you have parked your vehicle in your garage, look at that, a little shot of the nose as we're walking past, you want to have your vehicle running. So I have the vehicle running. Not only will you want to have it running, but you also want your transmitter for your garage. So once you have all those things, go ahead and hop in the vehicle. Now, first things first, I always love, as I mentioned before, to give you a shot of the vehicle from the inside in which we're gonna be working with. So this is a Chrysler Pacifica. I think they still call it a minivan, but we'll just call it a van. If you look right above you on the driver's side, on your vent shade, visor, you have your home link system for in your vehicle for programming to your garage. Now, first thing you must do when you get it home, press one and three. Once you press one and three, as you can see there, see the indicator? The indicator is in the house, that's an orange. It's gonna be orange. Keep holding one and three. As you're holding one and three, you're gonna notice your indicator start to blink rapidly. That tells you you can release. You have just cleared your home link system. Now keep in mind, you do not need to clear your home, home link system each and every time. Owner to owner, yes. Garage to garage, no. Unless you're moving and you're clearing out the old garage, you do not want to clear this again. Now, the thing that must happen, and I'm just kind of tilt here just a bit, because you're going to see the transmitter here. I'm going to hold the transmitter as close to the home link system as possible. Now I'm going to press this with my finger, and I'm going to press the transmitter with my thumb. So you can see me press both. Now once I press, you can see the home link system starts to blink slowly. Now what you're waiting on is for that to start blinking rapidly. So we did not have a rapid flash there. We're going to come back. We're just going to see if that indeed works. And as you can see the garage in the background, that did not work at all. What I found is with Chrysler, you don't have to have it here like most vehicles. You can have it a couple inches away. And all I'm going to do is just press both buttons, one, two, or three, which one you want to program it to at the same time. You can see the indicator starts rapid, uh, flashing rapidly. Release and just wait for the indicator to go out. We're going to press one again to lock that in. Now, if that is correct and you've done it correctly, now you can press one on your transmitter and hold. And you can see the indicator. Now it is up and running. So it is programmed. That simply means that you have a one stage garage door opener. So if I come here yet again, I can press number one and hold for two to three seconds and that guy will start to open. Now I do want to show you if you have a two-stage garage what to do next. You can see your motor on top of your garage. Now the only thing you need, you can get a ladder to climb all the way up there if you want, but all you need is a Phillips head or a screwdriver, something that's pretty lengthy, because I'm going to show you exactly what you must do next. Once you climb up to the motor of your system here, all you're going to do is go around back, and if you look right where your light bulb is, you can see there is a yellow button, which is right there, if you look right between. Now, you're probably wondering why I have the screwdriver. No, whatever you do, hold on to it because you don't want to drop it on your car. All you're going to do with the screwdriver is just take it right in between, and you're just going to press, as you can see, the yellow button there. So once you press the yellow button, now, then you have 30 seconds to make your way back to your car. This is stage two programming. There again, 
most homes do not have this. You don't have to worry. Once you come back to the car, you're gonna go right back up top. You're gonna press one, one, two, one, two, one, two. Now, when you do that, your garage door will start to move once your home link system catches your garage door signal and you've got it clearly programmed. Now, one thing I do want to bring to light here, you have some people that call themselves garage door gurus. I beg to differ. Here's the reason why. With some of the videos you've probably seen, you probably noticed where they told you you've got to program your transmitter here, here. And then you have to go and you have to program it to the motor inside the home. You don't have to do that. All you have to do is program your transmitter to your home link system and you're done. That is that way with basically all vehicles I have encountered. Once you program this to this, you're done. Same as with Chrysler. And I can go ahead and let mine down because I have a one stage garage and the home link system does not, or Chrysler does not require a two step in order for me to program my transmitter or the car to the door. So just remember, it's a one step. 